all right, I should be recording. One of my friends has kind of semi-challenged me to try and design a knife in 10 minutes after we were talking about how quick I can design, I guess. Uh, I have cheated a little bit. I have done up a basic sketch profile as that is my starting basis for all of my designs. It is now 3.30 and, well, it's okay, now 3.31, so I guess at 3.42, or maybe I should just set an alarm on my phone. I'm not going to be able to keep a track of that. And then in 10 minutes, my alarm will go off. And hopefully I will have something resembling a knife. This will probably be a quieter video. But I will try to kind of ramble along as I'm going and explain my process. It is largely the same as my last uh, video where... I start off with a sketch, and then I kind of just set out the basic profile of the knife. So it's a fairly simple process, and that's why I've gotten to be able to do them as quick as I do, because it's, at this point, something that I repeat, you know, kind of like boiling eggs, I guess. Uh, I have set the blade length for this at about 80 millimeters, because that's roughly around where I like my knives to sit, and it gives a good scale. Um, there's no like real best size, I don't think, for a knife. It's just kind of whatever, whatever you like, you know. It's, nope. Everyone has their own personal preferences. I do like mine to be on the bigger side, just because I prefer a knife that feels like it's actually in my hand and going to do some work. I do have one small knife in my collection, but it is an automatic, so it doesn't really matter as much getting grip on a thumb stud or a flipper or something, because that is the main issue, is that those knives are just kind of awkward to grab and hold and use. Uh, okay, so that's the basic profile. Uh, if we get the blade extruded. I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to... Oh, fuck, I've already, I've already messed up. Um, new component, symmetric. 1.5 millimeters, hide component, show sketch. Uh, I'm already at seven and a half minutes left. That's slightly concerning, but that's okay. I just have to go fast, but I don't want to skip any of my usual steps, such as applying colors to the components to distinguish them, because that is something that I find immensely helpful with just keeping track of what I'm doing. Um, whenever I'm setting this negative point forward, that's just, uh, you know, an amount, a gap for how much a washer or a bearing needs to fit in it. As we can see, my handle needs to be a bit longer. That's okay, because we've got room for that. Uh, Okay, well, so yeah, this is, this is where I get caught up in it being slow, is things like this, where I need to just pull my knife design apart a little bit and move things around. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. And that's where I'm going to lose some time. Uh, okay deleted something. Why is that not a closed profile anymore? This is... Oops, okay. Oh, bugger, come on. Just, yeah, there we go. Alright. Um, one seventy four. Okay, well, I will just shorten that blade a little bit.
174. Okay, I'll, I'll pull it back out a bit. I'm sure there are more precise ways to do this. But uh, as you can see, I've already spent half of my time just setting the basic profile. That is the most difficult, fidgety thing. Um, is just making sure that that is correct. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't like how that how this sits. I need to pull this back a little bit. That's that's a bit better, but I need to change that. Yeah, that's all right. I can. I'm okay with that. That's good enough. I'm not trying to make the best. I'm just trying to make something that works. Okay. Four minutes left on the clock. I am feeling the pressure now. I need to change that as well. Uh, circular pattern to partial 174 tangent. Uh, yep. And then I will actually just move that back a little bit. Uh, Is it like tangent? Negative three, check that, that still looks good on the closed. I mean, I'm not the happiest with that flipper tab location, but I've got three minutes left on the clock, so I'm gonna have to just say that that's okay. Five four new body mirror join. Okay, that's good. Now I'll add some quick chamfers to this. Uh, let's go two point five maybe. I would like to get a blade grind into this, so let's just quickly throw two millimeter fillet on all of those edges, and then I can just quickly mirror this body. minutes left on the clock. I am feeling the pressure. Uh, construction. This is not going to be a fancy or a good looking knife, but if it's serviceable, then that's as much as I can ask for. And uh, negative three, hide, mirror faces, mirror plane, cool, let's quickly set the lock bar, one minute to go, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, because I still need a backspacer or a standoff. Uh, 55, and then offset that by negative 0.5, um, yeah sure, let's make it look a little bit nicer, 
that is not possible to turn. Why is it like this? Uh, make sure it doesn't insert anything on this side. Ah, there we go. And okay. Can I quickly just five seconds left? I'm not going to be able to do it. And that's my ten minute timer. Okay, so. That's the 10 minute timer, 3 minutes, 3.41, as you can see, that was 10 minutes, and this is as far as I was able to go, which, this isn't too bad, I mean, I've got the basic frame set out, um, ideally I would want to mess with the flipper tab a little bit more, the position is not good, um, but the overall look of the knife, it's fine, it's serviceable, it'd work, uh, I mean, you know, it needs a lock bar relief, it needs a pocket clip, I knew that pocket clips usually take me 10 minutes on their own, there's no way I was going to be able to get to that, but I was really hoping I'd be able to get to the backspacer at least, and okay, that's another issue that I just realized, is my mirrors are off, okay, that's that's a whole nother issue I didn't even see that I had. It happens sometimes you just, somewhere along the line, your origin ends up not being centered with the blade, which it should be, but it's not. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, all right. Well, if I take this back to here, I will try and make this kind of uh, how it should be a little bit. I'll just try and tidy it up so that at least it's it's a little bit cleaner. That's my, where's my other mirror? There we go. Uh, okay, that's still not right. When did that move? Okay. Alright, um... I must have... I must have, uh... Messed up the joint. That's probably what I did, is I messed up the joint. Uh, that's okay. I'll just create a new one. And then I'll just redefine all of those to that. But, yes, as you can see, it is possible to make a knife quick. It's not going to be a good knife, though. The point of a knife, of knife designing, is not to be quick. It is. It's to be efficient, I guess. You know, I can, I could make a knife in an hour, um, pretty easily. That's an hour or two is pretty standard for most standard designs that I'd be looking at. But unless I spend a few more hours on them, they're not going to be that good or interesting, they're not going to have internal milling, they're not going to have details, they're just going to be rough jobs like this where it, it's a knife, but it's not really that appealing. Uh, so anyways, thank you for watching and coming along for this slightly manic journey, I guess. It's been interesting. I might try this again, but give myself a 15 minute timeline and get someone else to draw the sketch up for me instead. And then I might actually be able to complete it because with doing my own sketch, I can kind of 
put in my own sort of limitations and things that, oh, I know I can design it like this and do this, but if someone else sketched it, I might have a harder time. But yes, anyway, thank you very much, and have a good day.